Hi, Gemini. Happy June. I hope you're having a great month. Okay. I shuffle offline, guys, and I clear the energy, so you do not have to watch me do that. Okay? Just know that it's done. Okay. I also ask um, to be shown what we need to see, not necessarily what we need to see, okay? Forewarned is forearmed. We like that, right? No surprises there. Okay. Okay, I think there's a few things going on here. Quite a few, actually. Okay, the overall energy is the death card, okay? The releasing, letting go, transformation, okay? Not a bad card at all. All right. The essence of this reading is the Four of Pentacles, okay? There we go. That is a card of, uh, a lot of people call it the miser card. I think it's just, you know, you're, you're not sure what to hang on to, what to, to let go here. Um, continue to secure your future, okay? That's where I'm going to drop anchor with this card at this moment. I think there's a lot going on here. Uh, financial instability is not what you want right now, and I think that you know this, okay? You're clearly moving away from something and into something else. Okay. We'll come back. I just want to do this little by little because, like I said, I think there's a lot going on here. How the Four of Pentacles here shows up is the Knight of Cups. Okay? This is an emotional journey, okay? If this is in fact a relationship, this is the quintessential romantic person that's going to, you know, swoop you off your feet here. This is someone, too, that uh, is done searching for where they drop anchor. They know now where they call home, and they're happy there, okay? I think that what happened here was a lot of things cleared out to make room for new, okay? This is someone who is sensitive, emotional, uh, a daydreamer, which is lovely, okay? Just be cautious that you can uh, anchor that. Otherwise, it is just a daydream. When it becomes a goal, it's, it's something we can, we can anchor, okay? This is the quintessential romantic uh, knight in shining armor. I think that that's wonderful. In the near past, what you've got here is the high priestess, okay? Com uh, inner uh, resolve, okay? Trusting your intuition. Self-reflection, okay? And I think with the death card as the overall energy, that's what we did. We went inside. We just, you know, what's working, what's not working, what's really going on here. You really took inventory of that, Okay? Where you're anchored here is the Four of Wands. This to me is the marriage card. It's stability. It's structure in the home, okay? And again, I think that that's why you didn't have that in the, I mean, just look at the difference here, okay? One is you've got all of this beauty, the beautiful home, you know, all of that kind of stuff, but you're, you're clearly miserable, okay? Here, you've got uh, stability, You've got a relationship that's stable, okay? And this card comes up. It doesn't necessarily need to be just the marriage card. It, it comes up after something like this happens. This is the stronger foundation after something like this, after the upheaval, okay? So that's wonderful. This can also be a current relationship that now uh, you know you belong here with this strong structure in your home with, you know, the people surrounding you. Okay, because what crowns this reading is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is the long time coming happiness card. It's financially secure. Your family is healthy, happy. Uh, 
you know, you've got all of the necessities in life and you're both content. Okay. This is wonderful. Where you go from here, where the, the future, the outbound here is the tower card. I think what happened here, don't be worried because you've already done the work. Okay. This is the card of clearing out. Okay. You had to clear this out. You know, this is the card of what is not real, not a real foundation here, okay? This is what happens. It clears out, and then you have this, and that's what you did, okay? You cleared out the things that weren't working for you. I'm tending to think this is a current relationship, and you just revamped it, okay? You took a good look at it, took all the masks off, all of you, and then just, you know, you decided where you need to go here. And for some of you, it could be a new relationship, okay? Okay. Where you show up here, your legwork, what you need to do over the next year here, is the Six of Swords. Okay? Again, this is an emotional journey. Um, you're going somewhere, and it doesn't need to be physical, it can just be in your mind. Swords are about the mind, okay? They're about our self-talk. It's an anxious time. Things are changing for you on a, a large scale here, okay? I think you've got a new relationship or a current relationship totally transformed, which is wonderful, okay? This is a card of transformation. It's a card of going on to calmer waters, so to speak. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be on water. It doesn't mean you're moving. It could, Okay, but it doesn't. More importantly, the essence of this is that your relationship is moving on. It's moving to a different phase, or it's a brand new relationship. Okay, your day-to-day -day life, your job, your relationships. You've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, she again is the hostess with the mostest. She's very kind and loyal and divinely connected. Okay, and she's she's she knows uh, her place in the world and she knows how to treat the people around her. Okay. It could be a man, too, not gender-specific, okay? This is someone who would also, as kind as she is, she would go the distance to fight for something that she truly believed in, okay? And that includes people, too. She walks her walk without hesitation whatsoever, okay? And there were big moves made here, so clearly you did that to okay your hopes and fears you've got the five of cups here something didn't work out and something new started this is my blessing in disguise card and this is in your hopes and fears okay something uh got you emotionally but you saw that it had to clear out okay to make room for the new and that's what happened here because in the outbound you've got the queen of pentacles okay she is uh the ultimate feminine energy and by that I mean alive she's essence okay she is uh, financially secure she's creative she knows who she is and she knows her value okay and that's just not monetary she knows her value in this world and she's not budging okay this card also when it shows up in a reading uh, a relationship reading you are who you truly are right now, and you're resonating all of that energy out. So you're attracting into you exactly what's aligned with you, okay? So you're going to pull in that perfect relationship. You're going to pull in that perfect career, okay? You're right where you need to be. Let love come to you. If you're looking for a new relationship, don't go looking for it. It's coming straight for you, okay? This card also speaks of truly, truly trusting your intuition right now it's crucial and given that that was the overall energy here and it's also the outbound card here it's vital that you pace yourself that you listen to yourself that you check in with yourself you're on the right path here this is wonderful okay I'm gonna leave it at that I think this was a wonderful reading this is not a shock to anyone this is something that's already transpiring so you know who you are if this pertains to you okay if it doesn't check out your Sun Moon or rising one of the other signs but this is a very uh, specific 
these are big moves. This is not something that may come upon you in June. It's something that's already in the, in the midst of, of uh, transforming your life, okay? Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful June, and I hope I've helped you in some way. Thank you.